What's up YouTube? Uh, just coming at you on a video, another video on my uh, new mower here. Uh, well, it's new to me, but uh, I made a video, just kind of an introduction video of this mower. Uh, <clears throat> it was given to me by a friend and uh, uh, Craftsman LTS2000, got the hydrostatic transmission. Um, and I kind of explained some of the things that I've had to do to this mower so far to uh, to uh, repair it, fix it, get it going. And uh, as you can see, if you've seen the other video, I don't know if you have or haven't, but if you haven't seen this video, yes, this mower did come with a cutting deck. So as you can see, it's not underneath it. And I talked about in that other video that uh, the deck itself was pretty badly rusted and uh, well, I didn't say it was pretty badly rusted, but I did say it's rusted and uh, once I got the deck out and saw the real damage and everything uh, um, <clears throat> Yeah, it's pretty bad um, one of the things also is is uh, You can see That's how the blades supposed to look obviously this one has hit something so uh, I'm going to be changing out the blades. I uh, went into my, uh, actually went to a hoard, uh, not a hoard, I'm sorry, a uh, mower salvage yard. A friend of, friend of mine, he runs a mower, mower salvage yard and he uh, had an extra blade. The other one right here, this is the one that, that was on the mower. Uh, along with that other bent one uh, as you can tell it It's really in good shape. I mean, I'm gonna run a grinder on it and put an edge back on it, but really that blades almost brand new and uh, So I just stopped by and pick this one up and I'm gonna do the same to it But uh, <clears throat> that's not what this video is about. I wanted to show you all the damage that was done to the uh, deck and talk a little bit about it and also maybe discuss about uh, some care, uh, taking care of your mower or preventative things and so uh, so let's go over here to where I got the deck where I'm working on it at <clears throat> so as you can see uh, I've got it up here on this table because I am uh, in the middle of shooting some paint on it uh, right wrong or indifferent uh, what I ended up doing was I've got a drill with a wire brush on it and I just took that wire brush all over this deck and and brushed the uh, rust down the best I could all of that after as you can see right there uh, my son is is uh, part of the welding class at his school and uh, he took this to school with him and they welded this patch in on the inside of the deck there to, to try to cover that hole uh, however it was so brittle that it made a bunch of smaller holes as he was kind of hitting on it and stuff and so I ended up having to buy let me see here it is right here here's the package uh, JB wheel JB weld steel stick and uh, just kind of worked it worked it together in my hand and uh, put it in the three spots where the holes were really bad right there right there and right there and uh, it says it, it sets up uh, what five minutes yeah set time is five minutes cure time is an hour so um, so after the five minute window I went ahead and shot some paint over it I've already uh, shot one can I bought a total of four cans of paint I've already shot one can on on there of course it's the uh, Walmart cheap you know dollar can stuff matte black it's not for show guys I'm gonna be using that mower to cut grass so I'm not trying to win any awards or anything but uh anyway um, I'm gonna shoot this can on it and then I've got two more cans I'm gonna flip it over and uh, spray paint it from the bottom also before I put the blades on it and put it back underneath that mower uh, <clears throat> anyway so I wanted to show you guys this and talk to you all a little bit about maintenance and care because uh, if you watch any of my videos and know, uh, I've got two mowers now. 
I've got this LTS 2000, which is the star of this video, but I also have that LT LT 1000 right there. And uh, the reason why I'm bringing it up is because uh, it is actually older than this mower. Uh, I mean, I made a video here not too long ago, again, like I said, introducing this one and showing y'all that yes, that's got the same engine in it. The engine it's, it, that's in that mower is just as new as this one. However, the, uh, the rest of the mower, the tractor and the cutting deck and everything else is older than this one. And that one does not have any of that rust issue on the deck like this one. And uh, what I do know is because uh, both of these mowers were one owner. Uh, both of them were given to me by people. and But it was by two different people. Uh, this one here, the LT1000, was given to me by a lady who always kept it inside her garage or her barn or her carport, always kept it underneath somewhere. And she also always blew off the, uh, the deck after she cut grass. She always kept a blower right there after she cut grass because those decks are bad about collecting grass on top and she'd take a blower and just blow that off. And, uh, <clears throat> um, and which is a good practice to be in and, and that is why right there. Because when I got this LTS 2000 and I pulled this deck out, uh, this whole area, all of this was caked with grass and dirt and everything else. And then not only that, but this guy kept this mower outside. He didn't keep it, he didn't keep it under cover or nothing, just kept it outside. And uh, so what happens is, is <clears throat> you get grass and stuff on there and then it rains and that grass holds that water holds that rain right there on the top of the deck and uh, obviously this side got hit the worst uh, it's the side that sticks out the most and so uh, uh, and it holds that water right on the top of the deck and and promotes rust uh, so uh, word of uh, word of advice is is that I if you can't keep your mower inside, I can understand, but they do make cheap tarps. They sell those cheap tarps. Uh, sometimes Harbor Freight gives them, gives them out for free even. Uh, but, you know, it's worth that little extra money to go buy a tarp. When you go buying uh, Craftsman ride mowers these days, I, I don't know, I think they're in the area of about $3,000, $4,000 to buy a brand new one. And so cheap insurance is is that tarp right there to throw over it uh, while you're not when when it's not in use and to keep the water off of the the deck. Um, uh, also, when you get done mowing, it's a good thing like I just said that other lady did on that LT1000, and I always do. Also, is I get my blower out and I blow the deck off after I use it. Keep that grass, even though I keep mine inside, I still blow the deck off keep that grass off of there because all that stuff does is just hold uh, corrosion water rust and all that on there and uh, so it, it's just making it worse um, so I just wanted to talk to you all a little bit what I've done here um, again I had a drill with a wire brush and I just went to town on this thing with the with the drill and the wire brush cleaning it off the best I can and my son welded in that plate and and all of that and then I shot spray paint on it and uh, uh, you know just the cheap stuff and I know that there's other ways or better ways or you know maybe somebody's watching this saying well I'd have done it like this or that wasn't quite right or whatever and the thing is got to stop the rust and so uh, the, th the other thing is this is as long as I own it is no longer going to be kept outside it's going to be kept inside and so I don't have to worry about it, all of that stuff like before even if I keep it outside, I'm going to use a tarp, like I said, but, um, <clears throat> but I still have to stop the rust. Uh, so to clean off all of that I can and shoot some cheap spray paint on it, you know, I, I think that's better than not doing anything at all. Plus, I don't have the money to go buy a brand new uh, uh, mower deck. So uh, this is all budget friendly, budget minded, you know. And so just doing what I can to 
financially make this work. And so uh, a little cheap $1 Walmart spray paint, rattle can paint, can, uh, rattle can uh, paint job on it and, you know, and keeping it inside, blowing it off. And I don't think there's going to be any issues. So, uh, again, guys, I would highly suggest keeping your mowers inside. If you can't keep it inside, cover it. Cover it with something. And, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know how many people buy, you know, spend three, four thousand dollars on a machine and then stick it outside and then don't cover it or don't do anything. So, kind of doesn't make any sense to me. So, um, I mean, obviously, like I said, I'm working on a budget. So, why would I go and buy a used blade? Because I don't have the money to buy a new set. And obviously you can tell uh, the guy that I got one, this one that I got from my buddy, it's almost brand new also. So, all on a budget. So, uh, so anyway guys, uh, question, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, I'm just trying to show y'all what I'm doing as far as rust fighting rust and and then also rust preventative so y'all take care and god bless